we got a Hell Divers 2 primary weapons tier list. Let's go. Yeah! First weapon I'll be talking about is the AR-23 Liberator, which is the first AR we get when we start Hell Divers. Not gonna lie to y'all, this is how the the rating's gonna go. It's between good, okay, and bad. So for the AR-23 Liberator, I'm putting it in the okay category because it's not really that good. It's just okay. It's a it's a mediocre AR that we used in the beginning towards the trivia difficulties and and probably up to to six before we hit uh suicide or impossible or you know hell dive the ar is just it won't compete to a high level and, and even if it does it's not really like that's let's be real it's not that good it, it, it's kind of booty compared to other weapons that we're able to get but in my in my eyes it's just an okay ar it's just it's the standard ar and the next weapon is the ar 23c liberator concussive this weapon may look good, but in all actuality, to me, compared to a lot of other weapons, it's just not that good. I'm either have to put it at a okay category, or it's going in the in the bad category. When I fight robots, this weapon can be okay, but overall, this weapon, I I, I don't like this weapon at all. Honestly, let me be real. This weapon is boo boo. Like, <laughs> I like the AR better than I like the Liberator concussive it's just it it just feels wrong using this weapon i don't know maybe it takes too many shots to to kill the ais or even with the bug sometimes it just feels like i'm, I'm shooting endlessly without any real progression this weapon reloads pretty quickly it shoots pretty far but the damage output is pretty boo boo and for that reason i'm putting it in the okay category but in my heart of hearts sometimes i just feel like it, it can be it can be either better or worse depending on you're fighting bugs or ais ais it's okay to bad bugs is 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 pretty bad and sometimes okay it's just it's, it's, it flip flops like that but anyways the next ar is ar 23p liberator penetrator now the name itself is cancer like i don't even know why they named it liberator penetrator ayo pause but we move the, the gun is good all right the gun is probably the best ar i've, I've used so far next to a couple others or one other but when it comes to, to really having a good stable weapon, it, it doesn't get any better than this. Good reload or pretty good reload. It shoots far. It shoots in burst fire and single fire. And it can all and it can also break down spore trees before the spore tree nerf. Or the new spore trees, I'd say. But it also has medium medium armor penetration. It doesn't really get any better than that. I, I personally like it. And for that reason, I'm putting it in in the in the good category. This is a good weapon. I think most people who use this should be saying it's a good weapon. It's a, I, I, should, I damn near say it's a great weapon. But I like it. Now for a weapon I don't really like, which is the R63 CS Diligence Counter Sniper. I don't like this weapon. It has pretty good reload. It has good range. And it has eye damage. But it's like, what really am I going to do with a sniper rifle running around and trying to kill bugs? It's really not that applicable when it comes to this game I mean you can I guess you can sit back and try to snipe but it's like by the time that you shot the first shot they've already pretty much pinpoint your location and they're coming towards you and by that time you're probably gonna be running away and trying to shoot back with a with a pistol so for that real reason I I personally would put this at a bad category I don't like I really don't like the sniper but yeah for that reason it's going in the bad category Another weapon that's similar to this, but is also terrible, is the R63 Diligence, which is the first version of the Counter Sniper. I, just like my friends, don't like this weapon. I ain't gonna lie, straight up. This gun is trash, straight up dookie. It's really not that fun to use. I mean, I don't like it, my friends don't like it. It's really, it's it's just really not that good of a weapon. It's just another version of the counter sniper, just worse. And if you want to use the sniper, you can go ahead and you can do whatever you want. But personally, I would rate this as a bad weapon, like straight up terrible. But on to the SMGs, which there's only one SMG in this game, which is called the SMG 37 Defender. 
this SMG is pretty good. I like it. It doesn't have the greatest damage, but I think the ammo makes up for the damage personally. Also, when you have certain missions that you're playing where you have to run with one hand and you have to take the certain deposit and put it somewhere else, you can run around with the SMG in your hand because it's a one-handed it's a one-handed weapon. Except for running your pistol, now you can run your SMG. So now you have pretty much a 70 bullet pistol while you're running with a mission stratagem in your hand. And the next category is shotguns. The shotgun is called the SG-8 Punisher. The SG-8 Punisher I consider a pretty good shotgun. I put it in the OK category, OK slash good category. It has good damage, or I'll say great damage. It has a pushback, so when you shoot something, it actually knocks it back. Most small bugs are going to get killed when it comes to AIs. The AIs, well, it depends on which AI you're talking about, but the general, like minion AIs, the smaller ones, they do pretty much get one shotted, and other AIs do get the knockback, or they, they suffer a lot more injury than normal things would. But this shotgun is pretty good, it's, it's, it's okay to good. For AIs, it's okay. For bugs, it's pretty good. So, yeah. And the next shotgun is the SG-85 Slugger. The Slugger, to me, is hella good. Like, there really isn't a reason to hate this weapon. It has good ammo, it has great range, it has great damage, and it says that it has light armor penetrating rounds. I believe that it has medium armor penetrating rounds because there's one certain bug that I keep shooting with the shotgun and it goes right through its armor. Usually it bounces off the, the scales, but the shotgun goes straight through it. So for that reason, I'm putting this at a good tier or S tier, whatever you want to call it. And if you disagree with that, I'm going to need you to stop hopping on sausage, you know, that, that, that meat riding train and, and really start to think with your brain. Nah, I'm just fucking with y'all. The next shotgun we'll be talking about is the SG-225 SP Breaker Spray and Pray. This uh, shotgun is good, but I really think that it's just its average run-of-the-mill type of shotgun. It really doesn't do much other than be that. If you like spraying and praying with a shotgun, this is your weapon. If you like accuracy, it's the it's the other shotgun, the slug. But this is like this is just one of the regular average run of the mill shotgun. There's really nothing much to this other than the fact that it's has a lot of ammo. But other than that, it's an okay shotgun. And now the next shotgun is SG225 Breaker. This is a pretty good shotgun. It's good for crowd control, just like the just like the Breaker Spray and Pray. And it's honestly just. I don't I don't know why so many people use it, but apparently it's like some super good shotgun that I didn't know about. But I, my personal rating, I give it as an okay shotgun. People might disagree, but it is what it is. And I've also been seeing people in the past before the before the nerf, I've seen people get kicked out of teams, or they were getting kicked out of teams, I'd say, for not equipping the shotgun. And if you was one of those people. Go ahead and uh, grip on dick and die. I mean, <laughs> you're going to kick somebody out for a shotgun. I don't know what's wrong with you. You probably stink, but it is what it is. Sunscreen, bleach, whatever the fuck it is. Put it down your mouth. All right, the next shotgun is SG-225, i.e. Breaker Incendiary. The Breaker Incendiary is just like the Breaker Spray and Pray, just with less damage and with fire that's literally all it is it's just this record this, this weapon is literally just people who like the breaker spray and pray just want to fire with it who doesn't want flashy firework type shotgun it's who really doesn't want it? it's not terrible but i just put it in the okay category i wouldn't say it's good it's just okay to me it doesn't really stick out more than the fact that it has a centenary round so if you like the centenary you're gonna like this shotgun all right we're getting out of the shotgun category the next weapon is jar 5 dominator and I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. This gun fucking sucks. If it's not in burst fire mode, this gun sucks dick. This gun is terrible. It's good, it has good range, pretty good damage sometimes. But when you're fighting automatons with this weapon, the small ones die fast, but the bigger ones, it's like it takes forever to kill shit. And maybe that's just me, but I hate this weapon. Other than the fact that it's medium armor penetrating and it has kind of explosive or jet propelled rounds, other than that, this gun is garbage. 
I hate this weapon, the, re re the reload speed, I promise. Anyone who's ever used this weapon knows that the reload speed on this weapon is dog shit. It is terrible. You would probably hate playing with this weapon every time because you think you reloaded? Nah, motherfucker. No, you didn't. You put that shit away, you come back, and it's still not reloaded. And get your ass killed. I fucking hate this weapon. I, <laughs> I Don't even say it. This shit is terrible. It's in the bad category. If you like this weapon, you probably some shit too. This is the last slot. The last slot is energy weapons. And this energy weapon is called the last five scythe. This weapon, as cool as it looks and feels, this weapon is garbage. Let's be real, this gun is trash. <laughs> I mean, it, it doesn't get... It, ha it could be infinite ammo, but if it overheats on a hot planet, you're fucked. Or if it just overheats in general, you have to, you just have to reload. Uh, it has good range, but... The laser, for some reason, is just not good. I don't like this gun. I, I personally would never pick it over the next energy weapon. But this weapon is just... Other than the fact that it could have potentially infinite ammo, it's not really that good. I rather pre I prefer it on, like, the rover, which is the thing that hovers over your head, than actually having the weapon in my hand. So, for that reason, it is terrible or bad. Not good to me. Alright, the last energy weapon that is here is the Plaz one scorcher this weapon is fantastic I, I don't hear no problems from this weapon from anybody only if I take that back only problems I heard was about the ammo capacity <laughs> other than that this weapon is fantastic for both automatons and bugs it can sh has about 15 rounds in the mag it can shoot far it can destroy spore towers in like three to four shots it the only problem i can say this with it is that when you're too close to something it can kill you at the same time but other than that this weapon is fantastic for any type of situation that you're in so this is well, this is my favorite weapon by the way people be like oh you're dick riding it it's not that good I guess i'm a dick rider it is what it is this fucking weapon is fantastic that was the last gun inside the weapons list category for Helldivers 2. Ain't got nothing else to say. Bye.